Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing you this 2005 Nissan X-Trail. This is optional four-wheel drive. It's got just over 92,000 kilometers on it, which is uh, about 57,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside, but first I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do cover a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the road tax, uh, insurance, and financing, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, please go to and contact me or stop on by and we'll answer anything that you have. This Nissan X-Trail is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $175 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So if you don't wanna wait through any lines, stop by uh, after April 1st, or stop by John's Used Cars after April 1st, and a few days before it May ends, and we'll go ahead and assist you with that. You also have two ways to pay for this, the first one being US dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down, either way, or I'm sorry, uh, but if you want to put something down um, to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can do that. Uh, totally up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. The more important feature and benefit it is, it's going to give you that cross ventilation to get that extremely hot air out. And also, don't forget to get yourself a good uh, windshield visor. Now this one did just come in, so it's going to be a little dirty, but it's actually really, really clean, so somebody obviously took care of it. Now, you do have two ways to uh, start it. You can start it with the regular key, but it also has the keyless, so as long as the keyless is on your person, you just crank it over as if the key was in there. Uh, there is a metal key in here, so uh, you just slide this over, and this metal key will come out, and then you put an ignition um, and start it like, like normal. Let's uh, turn off this radio. Sorry, Troy. All right. So... 92,174 on the odometer. Uh, I'll show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do, do give tickets on and off base. The little R ones, of course, it's the, um, uh, what you call it, low fuel. And then this one over here, this is the emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. We get that a lot. But it's a handbrake, so when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, it's a very simple uh, instrument cluster. However, it is in the middle. It's not, um, it's not in front of you. Because in front of you, you have a little uh, compartment here for some storage. You have your uh, power outlet there. And we'll go back to the middle here. You have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. So your radio, you got a little pocket here for some storage. Air conditioning controls, a little bit more storage over here. Your shifter, handbrake as I told you about, a little storage here, maybe for some coins or whatnot. Heated seats and a little um, center console here, okay? I think this has another one. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this one is uh, one level. You put some coins in there whatnot, and then it opens up for some more storage. Continuing off to the left, you do have your glove box. And then this one does open above it. Be very careful on how you do this. A lot of people just lift it all the way open, and it breaks. This is all it goes, and it, it doesn't go op or it doesn't open up a lot. So if you don't have to use it, try not to use it because uh, these break often, okay? And then you have a little bit of uh, storage in each door panel, okay? That is your uh, passenger space over there. You get red row flare hanging out. And this is the space I have for my legs over here. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. Um, I'm comfortable driving as is. I, I don't I, I don't think I would slide this uh, forward any. And it does have your personal uh, vent right here, okay? It does have cup holders on each side. Uh, you lift up that flap, and that's a cup holder as well. Let's go eye level. This one you can see almost the entire hood, unlike most of the vehicles. Okay, go all the way back. Now normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle, okay? But because it just came in, I keep those inside until they've been detailed. Once it's been detailed, um, I'm going to put it right here on the sun visor on the driver's side. But if it hasn't been detailed by the time you get out here you want to take a look at it, I can run inside and get that for you. Let's show you a few more things before we go to the back seat. Uh, you do have your uh, mirror controls here on the right side of the dash. Uh, and you do have your um, hood release right here. And please don't forget, on the side of the driver's seat on the floor, you do have your gas cover release, okay? So I'm just gonna turn this off. We'll go to the back seat, show you the uh, space back here. And there you got that. All right. So, um, with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about an inch away from the back of the seat. Um, each uh, seat back does have uh, storage. Uh, this one's a single pocket, then you have three pockets over here. Okay? Just be careful what you put on here. It doesn't have a lot of give, so you don't want to tear this on the side. So, just be careful. Nothing as far as storage on the door panels. Uh, you do have cup holders that come out over here. This one seems to be broken. We're going to see if we can fix that. If not, it might be as is. 
because you do have a, a center armrest. I, I'm sorry, I thought there was a cup holders here, but I'm not. But the center armrest as well. So we'll see about those cup holders. If we can fix it, we're definitely going to fix it. But we'll see what we can do. And go on back here. As with all the uh, X-Trails, you got a nice hard plastic covering in the back and also on the seats. I don't know why they didn't put it on there. Um, this way, if you put something down, you don't have to worry about it um, uh, scratching everything up. But just a huge amount of space back here. So let's go to the front. We'll show you the engine compartment, then wrap this video up. All right. Wear your seatbelt. All right. There you go. Um, Engine's pretty clean, and we haven't even touched it yet. So this is how it came in. So somebody obviously was taking care of this. So there you got it. So there you have it, uh, 2005 Nissan X-Trail. Uh, just over 92,000 kilometers on it, which again is about, uh, what I say, 57,000 miles. Military price goes down to 5,400 with an additional military discount. We'll get this down to 5,200. That's gonna include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper bumper full warranty, the 2021, or the remainder of the 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Uh, only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're uh, going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. As always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealer, see what they have, and then stop by John Deere's cars, let us show what we have and what our program's all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why. Uh, but if you have any questions while you're out and about, thinking you're not getting the right information, go in and contact us. Information's free. We're always willing to assist you regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. So don't forget, two ways to pay for this. U.S. dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.